Ram. Are you purring for something? Hello, my best known friends and ladies. Mark the Punk Gamer, aka Mark the Punk here. Oh boy. Um, I'm starting a new series called the Re-Rank Series. So I re-rank my past videos I did that I didn't cover since the original studio albums I did. Oh, well, these are just my fake cat ears. You know what? I'm just going to get rid of them. Fuck it. Yeah, I am. So, yeah, the first band I'm actually re-ranking again is called Kitty, obviously, because they are a nostalgic new metal band to me that I grew up with back in 2000. If you guys remember my old ranking. But sadly, it's going to change since last time. So, same thing. There's only six albums since the last video I did. So, I'm excited to get back into this again. So, Kitty is so nostalgic for me. So, because there's a lot more shit that I need to say about this one since my old video. So, here we go. From six to one. So, here we go. The worst for still number six. No, guys, it has not changed since last time. So, for number six, I will choose I Failed You. So, it's still my least listened to. It's, it's still one of the worst to me. So, what changed recently, I like a few of their tracks in this one, which I'll name out. So, here we go. We Are the Lambs Cool, Whisper of Death is Cool, Empire's Part 2 is pretty good, and Lastly Ugly. So, so this is what changed last time. So, I back then, I really fucking hate this album. But now, it, but now in this video, I like a few tracks from this. So, it's still my least listened to, out of all of them. So, I failed you, uh, not really. Sadly, their last album they made. I doubt they'll make another one in the future. But who knows with Morgan Lander, you know. She's still good looking. But anyway, for number six, it's still the worst, is I failed you. Okay, number five. This is going to change drastically in my ranking since last time, so what I actually put for number five this time is actually the Oracle album, so this is what changed last time, so, ugh. Uh, to me, it's not good as its predecessor, to be honest, and this is their second album, so there are some cool songs within this album, which I'll name out, so Oracle, In the Winter, Severed. Wolves is cool, What I Always Wanted, Safe is cool, and lastly Pink Lemonade's awesome. So those are the only songs I do like from Oracle, but in the downside of this album it's actually pretty boring to be honest. It feels shallow for the, for the second album, so not really a fan. It's my second least favorite out of all the Kitty albums, so that's what drastically changed since last time. So. I would put the Oracle at number five. Okay, here we go. Um, this is what's going to remain still in the middle of number four. Is going to be until the end. Yes, this bitch ass is still in the middle. And the reason for that, this album still pisses me off in the half a bit of it. The reason is, I hate that song, um, frickin' Loveless and, uh, fuck, what was that other song I hate that's fucking annoying? I kind of forgot, it was, it was track six. I fucking hate that, that song. Oh my god, I can't remember. Yeah, that, that's what brings it down for me, is those two songs that almost ruined this album. Ugh. But the other songs are pretty cool, which I'll name out. So, Look So Pretty is cool. Career Suicide. Until the End. Red Flag's awesome fucking song. Into the Darkness, the original is good. Burning Bridges is cool. Daughters Down. And I like the vocal remix of um, Into the Darkness as well. So, those are still awesome songs, but the other two, fuck, I hate them. 
I know the Loveless song, which I hate. It started out cool at first, then it goes way downhill after that awesome solo. It's just, it's fucking pathetic for me. I can't remember what track six is. Ugh. It hurts my head thinking about it. So, yeah, this bitch ass is still in the middle of my ranking. It will never change. So, yeah, number four is definitely until the end. So, there you go at number four. All right, we made it to our top three here. So my top three albums that drastically changed since last time in my old video. So what I'm gonna put for my number, number three bronze medal winner, this might be a surprise to you because it drastically changed. So for number three, I'm gonna put in the black. So that's what changed recently. This used to have been number one last time I ranked this in my original first video I did. Not anymore, so you belong in the bronze medal, so. <sighs> but the songs I do like is some of them now, so. Kingdom Come is like an intro to this album. It's a pretty cool intro. Cuthroat's cool, Sorrow I Know is cool. Forgive and Forget is cool, Now or Never. Sleepwalking, and lastly, the Truth featuring Justin Wolf of Arxia. I don't know how to pronounce it, but those are the only songs I like now, so that's what drastically changed since last time. It's still pretty cool. It has the bass into this one, and more 10 times, 11 times better in the aggressive vocals department, too. That's... Wow. So, I used to like this one as my number one, but not anymore. So, it's still pretty cool, to be honest. But it's not my top favorite anymore, so for number three bronze medal winner, I'll give it to Kitty in the Black. Number two silver medal winner. Oh boy, this raised up a, a hell of a lot higher since last time, so the album I'm going to be naming for my silver medal number two winner is going to be Funeral, Funeral for Yesterday, so... There you go, that's what drastically changed since last time. This is actually Trish Stone's bassist last appearance in this album, so which is sad. So I'm starting to appreciate this album more because the reason for that is this is Morgan Land's uh, Morgan Lander's best vocals in this album. That's why it raised a bit higher for me. So I'm starting to appreciate this goddamn album now. So there's a hell of a lot of songs I like from this. More, the more and more I, I listen to it, uh, the more I appreciate it. It would be number one years later. I don't know. So, the songs I like from this, let me see. There's quite a lot. So, you're ready for a marathon. Feeling for Yesterday's a good beginning song. Breeze Cool. Everything Could Have Been. Slow Motion. Never, never again. Flower of Flesh and Blood's Cool. Around Your Heart. This Tool Shall Pass. Witch Hunt, and lastly, The Change. So, I am starting to appreciate this album more because of her vocal work in this one. I absolutely love the fuck out of her vocals in this one. If you want to listen to a good vocal type kitty album, this album is for you. So, there you go. It's a reason I put this as my silver medal number two. It's, it's pretty damn good in my opinion. It's just flawless for the vocal work. So, for number two, for my silver medal winner, is definitely Funeral for Yesterday. And okay. Prepare to be surprised what my number one gold favorite is out of all six of them, so prepare yourselves. I have a lot more nostalgic for this one more than this, my second previous one. The one I had most nostalgic for in the early 2000s is definitely the original Spin album. Goddamn. So, this is a new metal classic for me in the early 2000s. That's why I love Spit more now. So, it's in the top of my ranking. So, it sends a change last time. 
Oh, so very nostalgic for her debut. So, for their debut, sorry. So, Morgan Landers take on her vocals in her debut. So, God, I love this one more. It brings nostalgic to my heart for me for this one. So, I'm going to name all 12 tracks since I love the hell out of Spit nowadays. So, here we go Spit, Charlotte, Suck. Do you think I'm a whore? <laughs> Brackish, Johnny, Trippin', Raven, Get Off, You Can Eat Dick. <laughs> Choke, Paper Doll, and lastly, Immortal. So, I love the hell out of Paper Doll still to this day. It's still one of the best songs ever made from her. God, even Brackish is a good one. Charlotte's a good one. Uh, there's a, all of them are good tracks to me from the beginning to end. My fucking god. So, huge nostalgic for me. So, yeah, this brings it up all the way to one. So. For, for nostalgic sake of this band, so. Oh boy! So, my number one gold is definitely their Spit album, their debut. And I hope, and I hope you best sound friends and ladies enjoyed my re-ranking of Kitty. I wanted to do the re-ranking series because there's a lot of bands I want to re-rank in the future. So I finally re-ranked Kitty now, so my opinion's changed since last time in my old video. Hopefully I got a different perspective and all that good stuff. But damn, I still have nostalgic heart for Kitty still. They're still one of my favorite bands of all time. And it still is to this day to me. And uh, yeah. I'm gonna end the video here, so tell me your ranking Tell me your re-ranking in the comments down below. Which one's your worst? Which ones you think are you, is your most favorite? I haven't asked that in a while, so please tell me yours in the comments below. Love to see it. And all that good stuff. And before I end the video, I am working on the ranking Motorhead, and it's going to take me a long fucking time to get through all of them, so... I'm actually having a little bit of good time with this band, so... I'll let you know my opinions, and... And I'll recommend it to you guys soon in the future, so. I still got a long ways away from doing it, so. It won't be done till forever. It's gonna be another longest rank I ever done. And all that stuff. And I'll go back to one of the re-rankings again. And all that good stuff. Mm. It's just kitty. It's so nostalgic because of Morgan Lander. Oh my god. But anyway, I'll end the ranking video, re-ranking video here, so. Subscribe to me if you haven't, click the bell to get notified of the next video, and comment a like about this. And most importantly, share this video so I get more views and subscribers. And I will see you best sound friends and ladies Hold on. on my next video. Seizure later.